A number of health experts, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, have been urging caution, flashing that bright yellow light when it comes to reopening this country. But the president is clear. For him, it is still full steam ahead. We're opening our country. People want it open. The schools are going to be open. The president was asked to respond to Dr. Anthony Fauci's warning yesterday that there could be a resurgence of the virus and schools could be in danger. To me, it's not an acceptable answer, especially when it comes to schools. The president's supporters on Fox News have also been critical of Dr. Fauci, saying the infectious disease expert is taking a cautious approach to the pandemic that is getting in the way of the president's desire to get the country back to work and school as soon as possible. Is this the guy you want to chart the future of the country? Maybe not. Fauci, to be very blunt, is the face of this failed administrative well, state. I, totally I think agree. we've got to question the entire premise of this. With the chief buffoon of the professional class. Dr. Anthony Fauci also seems to favor what the Democrats want, and that is massive restrictions with no end in sight. With all due respect to Dr. Fauci's expertise, no one elected him to anything. But when it comes to who should be trusted, a CNN poll found a solid majority of Americans trust Fauci, not the president, when it comes to the pandemic. I think they should open the schools, absolutely. I think they should, and it's had very little impact on uh, young people. Many health experts point to these images and say the president does not know what he's talking about. They are images of young children who are critically ill from pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome. It's an illness believed to be related to COVID-19. So far, three children have died. More than 100 cases are being investigated in New York, and the number of these sick children has doubled in the last week. At least 17 states and the District of Columbia are now reporting cases of children impacted by this deadly illness, which is similar to Kawasaki disease. Symptoms include fever, rash, abdominal pain, and vomiting. The idea of sending kids back to school before more is known about this rapidly spreading disease is causing concern, even if schools intend to instruct teachers to keep a safe social distance between the students. I have 39 kids in my classroom one year. How are you going to socially distance 39 kids? These are young people. These are students, young students. They're in great shape. They're in great shape. Now, will you have an incident, one out of a million, one out of 500, that will something happen, perhaps? But, you know, you can be driving to school and some bad things can happen, too. Another public health official who's raising alarms is Dr. Rick Bright, a top vaccine expert who was removed from his position after being critical about the way President Trump was pushing an unproven coronavirus treatment. I think it could be a game changer. Bright is scheduled to testify tomorrow before a House subcommittee, and we have obtained a copy of his written testimony, which says in part, while it is terrifying to acknowledge the extent of the challenge that we currently confront, the undeniable fact is there will be a resurgence of the COVID-19 this fall greatly compounding the challenges of seasonal influenza and putting an unprecedented strain on our health care system. Without clear planning and implementation of the steps that I and other experts have outlined, 2020 will be the darkest winter in modern history. President Trump dismisses Dr. Bright as an unhappy employee. To me, he's a disgruntled guy, and I hadn't heard great things about him either. Dr. Bright will be testifying tomorrow before the same House subcommittee that wanted to hear from Dr. Anthony Fauci. But you may recall President Trump blocked Dr. Fauci from testifying before that subcommittee, saying it is run by Democrats. The president says he's extremely concerned that this subcommittee is not after the truth, but merely trying to discredit his administration.